Good evening, everyone. I hope you're having a great time so far. I have traveled all the way from Greece to talk to you about Hercules, the mighty hero of Greek mythology. According to the myth, in his second labor, Hercules was tasked to slay the evil Lernian Hydra, a huge nine-headed serpent-like monster. Hydra, say hello to people. Hello, yummy food. <laughs> Come on, Hydra, this is our audience, not your dinner. <laughs> anyway, Hydra was terrifying people living in the broader area of Lake Lerna, as its breath was poisonous and often it spit out fire, which would destroy everything in the plain, including crops, animals, even people. Brave Hercules faced the fearful monster and tried to kill it by cutting its heads off, though for its head he cut off two new sprouted. The, fi the fight was difficult, though in the end he managed to kill the monster, and people lived happily ever after. What if science, and more specifically geosciences, were associated with such a myth? After all, man has always sought to explain his natural environment. Could the dreadful hydra represent a disastrous geological phenomenon? Latest research supports that Lernian Hydra was nothing more but a group of karst springs discharging huge amounts of water off the adjacent mountainous area. Um, each head of the monster could be uh, attributed to uh, a karst spring. Karst springs are groundwater exit points formed mainly in limestones. How are they formed? As rainwater mixed with atmospheric carbon dioxide infiltrates into the mass of these carbonaceous rocks, through small cracks and other discontinuities, it dissolves calcium carbonate, that is, limestone rocks. This process is making the discontinuities broader by time, thus forming big conduits, imagine those like pipes, which help groundwater move faster and larger volumes. Um, this, uh, most probably, people of that time uh, so were suffering from the floods caused by the big discharge of these springs, resulting in serious damages in villages, cultivation, animals, and people. The great power of groundwater was inexplicable for the prehistoric inhabitants, therefore they gave it the form of a mythical monster. On the other hand, the appearance of a hero and the extermination of the monster could be associated with the efforts to manage the water coming out of the springs by the construction of hydraulic works, which would prevent the floods in the area. So next time you need a plumber, call Hercules. Thank you. <laughs>